Hey guys, John B from Phone Arena here, live at MWC 2016, doing a quick first comparison between the LG G5 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. So each phone has its own peculiar design characteristics. For Note 5, it's definitely the more stylish handset with that glass body and that metal frame. It really stands out, but the G5 is pretty good on its own too because it's a little bit more compact, so it's easier to hold. And on top of that, you have that novel idea of having a modular design. So you can technically increase its functionality, whereas with the Note 5, you're pretty much stuck with what you have from the beginning. Both displays are highly detailed. That's thanks to their Quad HD resolution. So the Note 5 has a larger 5.7 inch at Super AMOLED display, so a little bit more real estate, while the G5 has a 5.3 inch IPS LCD display. What's interesting though is the IPS display of the LG G5 has some AMOLED qualities, like some wide viewing angles, some vivid colors. But the neat thing about it is that it has the always on feature, so the time and date is presented to us even when the device is technically off. Power users will especially prefer the Note 5's experience. TouchWiz just has all the stuff for on-to-go work. For example, you have true side-by-side -side apps multitasking, and then you have all the features that accompany the S Pen stylus. So if you want to get work done on the road, it's definitely the handset to go with. On the other hand, the LG G5 is far more streamlined and simplified. They eliminated many of the core features of the past, and now it's pretty much a straightforward experience that some might not particularly like, but it gets the job done nonetheless. LG has an interesting setup going on with the G5's camera. It utilizes a dual camera configuration, while the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 sticks with just that single 16 megapixel camera we all know and love. Now, the dual camera configuration of the G5 breaks down to two cameras, and that's a main 16 megapixel sensor and an 8 megapixel one. Now, what this allows you to do is basically get a wider capture of your shot. So if, two, if people are just being squished in a shot, you could fit them all in with this wider capture. The Note 5, we know, is a stellar performer when it comes to taking photos and videos. We've seen the results and it's proven to be one of the best but seeing that this is LG we're talking about, you know they're going to live up to re their reputation with the G5. So there's no denying that LG is embarking on something new with the G5. It marks a tremendous change for them from what we're used to, especially with that modular design. You're just not buying the phone, you're buying into an ecosystem where you can expand a phone's functionality. The Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is an exceptional phone for power users who want to get work done on the road and craves productivity, but its higher cost is still a tough swallow. So even though the G5 is about to launch, it might prove to be a pretty good investment if you want to save some money.